Good morning, everyone. How is everyone doing this morning? I hope that your morning is off to a wonderful, fantastic start. If this is your first time here, hi. My name is Carrington. Not your first time here. Hi, welcome back. If you enjoy all things makeup, you're definitely going to want to hit that subscribe button, click the little bell to be notified of all my future uploads, and so that way you can join this dumpster fire of a family. And let's go ahead and let's get on into today's video. All right, I had a company reach out to me called Iboria, um, and they wanted me to use their um, IPL freezing hair remover. So they sent this to me a while ago, like a long time ago. It's embarrassing. I know. I, um, the company's like, did you forget about us? I did not. Sorry. So here's just kind of like um, a little bit about the device. So this is what the device looks like. Um, it comes with an adapter. You plug it in. The reason why I'm not turning this on is because you do need sunglasses whenever this is on. They send you the sunglasses as well. So basically um, what you do is you... Um, shave or in my case wax so I go and get wax I don't shave um, and then the next day after your day of shaving you'll use this inside it tells you how long to use the device um, for each part uh, you know it gives you like all the instructions things like that also if you are um, a deeper uh, if, if you have like a certain skin tone versus like a certain hair color based on your skin tone this product's not going to be good for you if you have long hair and you decide to use this it's probably going to be very painful i would also recommend not doing that either so i usually get waxed i have been getting waxed since end of 2016 um, and so it has been about five and a half years now that i have been getting waxed consistently so when you first start off getting waxed um, i noticed like based on like how fast my hair grows i needed to go every three to five weeks um, now that I've been doing this five and a half years, um, I'm now able to go probably about seven to eight weeks, um, more leaning towards eight weeks. Sometimes I can even make it nine weeks without having to go and get waxed. So that's, that's fantastic. So I wanted to use this, try this out to like, see, like, could I prolong the amount of time that I can go in between waxing? So what I did is I would go and I would get waxed. Um, and then I would come home and I would, so the reason why like I didn't like film any of this happening is because I was wearing the sunglasses and the sunglasses are pretty significantly nice and dark. So I couldn't really tell. And I was also trying to like hold this correctly and everything else. So, um, so I did use this. So I did go, I went and got waxed, um, one day I did let a couple of day, like two days go by. So that way I could use like my ingrown hair. Um, erase, you know, bump eraser thing, um, pads. And then like the next day, like I would use like, um, they have, I have like this serum that they give out at my, um, that you can purchase at my wax center to help kind of make it a little bit longer for your hair to grow. So, um, then I would wait. So with this, after you shave, you want to make sure that if you're using, doing like on your armpits or anything that you don't have any like perspirants, deodorants, anything like that. You wanna make sure that your skin is really nice and clean. You'll hold it at kind of like a 90 degree angle, like a perfect 90 degree angle. Um, so that way you know it's definitely like hitting um, the skin. So I have done this for about three rounds now. So the first round I used this um, probably towards like, I used like the first like beginning gears, like you can adjust the gears. So I used like the beginning gears and I used this probably like three to four times a week. And I, whenever it came time for me to go get waxed again, which is about eight week marks, I didn't really notice a difference. I didn't really notice anything. Now, just so you know, your body, no matter what you do, hair takes a while to adjust to like new things. So that's why waxing, when you first start going, you usually still have to go every three to four weeks. Um, but then as you keep taking the hairs out, the hair follicles start to shrink a little bit and then it go, and then you're able to go a little bit longer. So the, for the first, um, you know, eight weeks, I didn't really notice anything. I didn't notice, uh, much of a difference. I tried to make it to like 10 weeks. I just couldn't do it, um, with the first round, but I just kept going, kept, kept using it. So during the second time I kind of amped up the gear amount and I kind of went for like almost one of the most intense levels, um, you know, and I sat there and I used it and I did notice that I was able to prolong my waxing period from eight weeks to about nine weeks. So 
So I gained another week. Um, so then this final time that I went to go and try this, I went and got waxed, did all my skin care, you know, do all of my things. Uh, because on top of using this, I still do use like um, an ingrown hair. I have my KP bump eraser, things like that. And then I have that serum to also help with the, the hair um, growing. So I did this um, another time. I think I did this maybe four times total. Um, where again, I tried this highest intensity and I was able to get it again to about nine weeks. So I was like, that's really good. That's great. Um, so then I, a final time, ran through, um, tried using this again. And I found that I was able to push it nine weeks and a couple of days before I was like, finally like, all right, I got to go get wax. This, my hair is getting a little bit too long. It's starting to get painful to use this. So I would say that if I continue, and I'm going to continue using this, so I will definitely update you guys. But with me continually using this, I find that I am able to prolong my wax period, which for me is fantastic because then that means that I get to prolong how long I have to go get waxed and that saves me money, right? So it's cost, so I get a full Brazilian, I get a full leg and I do my underarms. That costs me before like a tip or anything like that, $150. So the fact is where I was originally, when I first started paying $150 once a month, I'm now paying $150 every two, two and a half months. So that's saving me exponentially a lot of money. So I really personally like this. Now, I can't attest to how well this is going to work and prolong your shaving because again, I don't shave, I whack. So, um, you know, I, I can't really attest to that and I'm not going to go back to shaving. Waxing is the way to go. For me personally, that's just something that I enjoy um, going, getting done. No, I don't have to worry about like ridiculous overgrown hair in just a few weeks or a few days, depending. So that's something that I really like. So I don't really know, but I would, I would assume you would be able to prolong the time you go in between shaving. Um, if I was able to take, you know, going from like seven, eight weeks to being able to go nine, nine in a couple of days, weeks, you know? So I definitely think that this is a really good, this is a really innovative, fun product. I like that they send you everything. So you get the charger, you get the manual, you get the sunglasses. It comes in like this really cute, really nice feeling like luxury bag. So those are things that I really am loving. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I will definitely give you guys a little bit more of an update if I'm able to be able to progress it even longer. Um, I will say, you know, the first First eight weeks, you know, I didn't necessarily notice a huge difference, but I did notice as I kept using it, I, I know it kept seeing more of an improvement. So I'm definitely really happy that I was able to work with this company, try this out. I will leave a link for them down below. I'm excited to continue using it. Let me know if you guys have ever used anything like this. Um, let me know. Um, you know, what your results were. Did you have success? Did you not? I definitely want to know all that down below. But that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the little bell, join this dumpster fire, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!